Fish King fans, another glorious day. Today is a day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's good to see y'all this morning, man. Look, man, we doing something different this morning. Right now we on the coastline, down south, doing some surf fishing. We don't do this a lot at Fish King, but it's something different, right? Just got out here a few minutes ago. Got, I got, uh, I'm gonna show you who I got with me, y'all. We got Big Neptune, the man himself. See that pose? Man just called him a black drone off camera. And, 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 and we got the sister sitting over here. Now we gotta give her a nickname, Neptune. You know how it go. I don't wanna call him Miss Neptune. Now, let me see, we got the planets, we got Neptune. I'm gonna let you name her though. We're gonna let you name her. We're gonna let you name her. We're gonna let you name her. What about a fact? What you think we should name her, big dog? Take your time. Something from 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 from, 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 from down down deep within. Glorious. AKA Miss Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know how we do, man. We out here. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, we're doing surf fishing today, guys. It's, it's, it's you know, it, 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 it's, when I'm out here, man, I enjoy what God has created. The final things in life are free to be out here surf fishing in nature's beauty. Let me show y'all this, man. Sun just rise. The serenity of God's goodness, man. The final things in life are free. You ever get to the point, man, where you're stressed out, you don't know what to do. Look, man, get somewhere, sit down, spend time with God, man. Your peace is within God's name, man. Cling to it. Cling to it, guys. You know what I'm saying? Cling to it. That's why I love fishing so much. You know, it's not just so much as catching fish, but man, the quality time that I spend with the Father, I, I can't complain in that, man. I can't complain. And there's peace wherever he is. Always remember that. But nonetheless, guys, so this is what we're doing. We're out here. We are going for sea mullet this morning and we're going for pompano, though, right? Uh, the waves are a little bit rough. They're, they're a little bit more, they're a little rougher than what I thought they were gonna be. Uh, wind was supposed to only be 10 miles an hour, but we get out here this morning and, you know, the wind is, it's not up high, but the waves and water's murky, which is perfect for your bottle feeders like sea mullet, pompano, things of that nature, e even spot. Uh, we're gonna try it out here, like I said, Neptune just caught a 14 inch black drum, man. So we're gonna be using, y'all already know, we're gonna be using sand flea fish bite and we're gonna be using fresh shrimp. So guys, when you're fishing for mullet, always use fresh shrimp. Don't never use anything frozen because it sort of takes away from the integrity of the lure itself. Well, not lure, but the bait. And you don't want nothing that's been rinsed and frozen and rinsed because you're, you're getting rid of the odor and the natural preservatives that's within the bait itself. So keep it as fresh as possible. It makes a big difference, I'm telling you. But uh, nonetheless, we're getting ready to do what it do. Let's get some poles in the water. Come on, let's go show you the setup, all right? All right, guys, show you the setup. Um, don't worry about my Rambo knife. <laughs> this is actually a pretty good knife while you're you playing, guys. I like this knife. Rambo time 16, we ain't gonna worry about that. So, well, I'm gonna show you how I set my stuff up. I've got a 30 pound uh, liter line monofilament. We're gonna cut this and I'm gonna show you guys how I set up. Let's put this key up, we don't need that getting wet. All right. Guys, I, because I've been kayaking so much, I left a lot of my stuff out that I shouldn't have left out in my kayak. And I, really this morning, I'm not as prepared as I would like to be, but hey, I'm here, right? Y'all work with me. Let me get my stuff together. <laughs> All right, guys, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with is a barrel swivel, real simple. I hope you guys can see uh, barrel swivel. Just gonna tie some loop. Uh, what's the name? Not. All right. This is the start. Just gonna tie into our uh, braided line here. I'll be using 20 pound Power Pro. So now, because when we're sea mullet fishing, sea mullet typically feed on the bottom, pumping no feed up. So I'm gonna set up a high-low rig, but I'm gonna customize it, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, take my line, and I'm gonna come down, uh, well, I'll tell you what, 
First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my hook. All right, this is a number two. On, I can't remember what I did with the, uh, no, I think this is a size four, I think. This is a size four owner hook. So what I'm gonna do first, we're gonna come through the bottom. All right, remember on the other end is the barrel swivel that I've got right here, okay? So this is what we got right now. It's a hook, barrel swivel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come and I'm gonna put a loop knot, just like this. All right, just like that. Cinch it down. And then what I'm gonna do so it doesn't go, so it doesn't cinch down anymore, I'm gonna come, tie another knot. That's gonna lock it so it doesn't cinch. So now, barrel swivel down to just a regular loop knot with a hook hanging out, right? This is what we got. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come, I hope you guys can see it. I'm gonna come and cut one end of the loop knot right as close as I can. So we're about right in here. Cut that off, all right? Oh, drop my hook, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, so now what we're left with, the barrel coming down, loop knot, and we're coming out here with a little bit of line. You guys got me? So now, these are these are nothing but cork stoppers. Well, bobble stoppers, cork stoppers, when you're using a slip cork, right? So only thing I'm gonna do, uh, we're gonna pull the bobber through, the bobble stop through, all right? Just like so, okay? So now we've got a stopper and we've got, remember, we've got the barrel swivel with the stopper coming on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take, these are just the standard red micro float you can get them anywhere i'll leave them in the description all right this is going to be for a pompano so we're going to take it pull it through just like so okay and on the other end we're going to take a hook and we're just going to tie our hook on just like that slide that bobble up a little bit oh crap So I just got hit with a wave, and when I tell y'all it is cold, it is cold. All right, guys, so then I'm gonna just take and tie, oh, it's in my pants, whatever. All right. Okay, guys. Then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my bobber. I'm gonna cinch it down just about right here. So now this is what we got. Let me back up some because those waves, I think tide is coming in. And the last thing I need guys is to have everything completely wet. So let's uh, back this stuff up a little bit. All right, and I gotta hurry up and get in the water cause that whoop in my butt. All right, this is what we got. Barrel swivel here. Set it's gonna look like this, all right? Pretty neat, right? Then I'm gonna come to the bottom. And what I'm gonna do when I come to the bottom, I'm gonna make another loop knot, all right? Just like so. Just like that, all right? Then I'm gonna tie another knot over it, just like this. But winches down, boom. That's to make sure it doesn't go out, all right? Now. What I'm gonna do for that loop now, I'm gonna come with my size four weight. You get weight anywhere, as you guys know, weight's anywhere. Just like here. So now, my setup's gonna look like this, all right? So we've got a pompano jig set at the top and this one at the bottom on a set up for mullet. Mullet feed from the bottom. So I'm gonna get the best of both worlds for a second. So now let's tie our mullet bait up, mullet rig on. A hook, I'm sorry. Let's cut it. We'll get us another hook. Okay. 
okay. We're both gone. Let's put this on the bus today. We're going to tie our hook. I'd say typically about, uh, I'm going to say maybe 10 inches. I think we're going to tie us enough. Just like so. Got the knot. Let's cut off this tag in. All right, guys. So this is the setup. This is my deadly surf fishing setup here. All right. And what I've got, pompano, they always feed up. You know, they always feed in, you know, just above the lower bottom of the water. So this here is going to act for pompano. And this here at the bottom, this is the one that's going to actually be set up for my mullet. Because mullet feed on the bottom, they dig in the sand, looking for sand fleas, crustacean, things of that nature. So that's what we're going to do. So we got the best of both worlds. Now, a mullet will hit the top one. But it's more likely that a pompano would hit the top one over the bottom. But I want the best of both worlds, so this is my setup. So we're going to tie it on our line, and let's see what we can do. All right, guys, you know what we're going to use for bait. We got the uh, sand flea, uh, fish bites, fish bites. Now, typically, I try not to put a whole one up there because I don't see the need to. Uh, typically, I try to cut it in half. Well, let me see. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to... Well, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to put it up there whole. Just like so. Just like that. Stuff stays on pretty good. And we'll go in here. Get our shrimp. Remember, guys, fresh shrimp. That's a must. I'm going to put this on top of the one with the pumping, though. Let's come through the back side. And I'm gonna thread it up there. Just like that. Lay this into the ground. All right. This is the uh, Tsunami Airway pole. This, is, this pole here is about eight foot. Simple pole, it's light. I don't want them too heavy. I want to be able to feel the action. So eight foot pole. cast out let it take its position try to get it anchored down I know the wave is going to take it away some so I tend to hold it down and do this so it'll sort of dig into the ground all right and then I let it just find its mark its position it's like so and we'll see what happens Guys, he's up there. Is he up there? Oh yeah, he's up there. He's killing it, man. Let's get this fish. Let's get this fish, y'all. Let's get this fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's up there. Crank you. Got a good head shake on him. Don't know what it is yet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see what we got, guys. Let's see what we got. Looks like we got us another mullet maybe traveling through the sands is it a mullet it is a yes it is it's a mullet that's what we after that's what i'm talking about cranking now guys like i said they will hit the top one as well that's the one he hit so we're gonna take him put him in the cooler No, we don't. No, we did. We'll let it sit. Well, I don't think we got it on on. I may be wrong now. Yeah, I think we got one on, guys. Let's check it anyway. Let's check it anyway and see what we got. Yeah, something's up there. I'd rather be safe than sorry. If, it's, if it is a fish, it's a small one, but it's hard to see. But, 
Well, feels like something is up there, guys. Oh, what in the world? Feels like something's up, up here. Let's see what we got. Is a fish? Yeah, it is a fish out here, guys. What is this? Another mullet? Oh, that's another mullet. Good deal. So, now what I'm seeing is, if you guys see, he's not hitting the bottom one. He's hitting more so the top one now. So now that tells me I'm going to change my setup on the other one, and I'm going to use both of the uh, orange floats because that's what seems to be producing. Y'all, I ran out here fast I could. Big Neptune got on a black drum. Good God on my. That's a good one there, boy. What is that, shrimp? Fish, fish bite. Uh, shrimp? Yes, sir. Look at that there, boy. Cool. Big Neptune. Crank him. Huh? She got a point, Big Neptune. Boy, got that whimp up in there, man. Oh, there he is. Oh, crap. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. I think I got him, guys. I had to run back on that one. Oh, yeah. We got him. Oh, yeah. We got him. Oh, yes. Crank him. Oh, yeah. We got him. Oh, yeah. Crank him. So today, fit, fresh shrimp seems to be the uh, kicker. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got them guys. Oh yeah, we got them. Nice mullet. Look at the size of that mullet, guys. Holy crap. That's one of them big boys there. One of those big boys there. Fresh shrimp is the culprit. So. So, big boys like that is what it's about. Big boys like that is what it's about. Yes, sir, Reba. Bob. <laughs> Let's see how big this one is. Hang on it, jerk. So he goes about, and I need to wipe them off, I'm sure. It'll go right at 14 inches. 14 inches, oh yeah. That's a good catch. Red shrimp's the culprit. Ah, good stuff, man. Let's go do it again. Typically when on mullet fishing, a lot of people like to cast beyond the breakers. I don't like to cast beyond the breakers. A lot of your hits will happen in front of the bait, or in front of the breakers, I'm telling you. Right here, I mean like close to the shore, is I'm t it's tends to be where I catch my biggest mullet. And they're in the surf and they're swimming along the coast and they're just, they're eating these sand fleas, these small crustaceans, small, you know, pieces of bait. And I mean, they're, they're feeding close to the shoreline and they're not gonna be farther back. You, the biggest ones down, you'll see, don't cast so far out. Maybe, you know, cast one, if you got three poles, cast one out as far as you can then cast one midway, then cast one close to the shore. And you'll see a big difference in your uh, productivity as far as fishing goes. I think I'm getting a hit here, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got him, I got him. Oh yeah. I don't know what that is. He's got some weight on him though. Ooh. That may be a stingray though. I'm not feeling any head shakes. Oh, 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 cranky. Oh, yeah, that may be a skate. That may be a skate, buddy. Yeah, I think it's a skate. I'm not feeling any head shakes. Pretty sure. 
<laughs> yeah, I think that's a skate. I think. Yeah, stank and skate. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't sting, Ray. Go figure. Ah, gotta be careful with these bad boys. They'll cut you in 20 different places. I ain't in a high for them. Oh. So guys, I wasn't looking. And I ended up getting a, a nice one on this one. I don't know what it is though. I think it's another daggone skate, man. Yeah, I think I got another skate, guys. Feels like another skate. It is. Another skate. That's why I couldn't see the hit, because he hit it. And he slowly, I think it's a skate. Yeah, it's a skate. He hit it, then he slowly began to drift off with it, so I don't even feel no head shake. Yeah, it's a skate. Shot. Dang, and a black drum. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure, guys. That and a black drum. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that black drum is not going to be big enough. Y'all know I used to be military. I really did not. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's see. All right. First, we're gonna take care of the black drum. Uh, he's, I know he's not 14, but just in case, I'm thinking he may be about 12. If I had to guess, maybe. Let's see. Uh, well, hold up now. Ah, uh, he's right at uh, 13 and three quarters. <laughs> That's just my love, but it's okay. We'll get another opportunity. Appreciate it, my friend. I think we got one on here, guys. He's hitting it. Slut. Yeah, he's up there. Feels like it. Anyway, let's see what we got, guys. Uh, yeah, he's up there. He's up there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a nice mullet there, guys. Cranky! Cranky! Oh yeah, that's a good mother. That mother. That mother got some shoulders on him. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's a mother on black drum, but he's swimming in the surf. Oh man, that's a knife. What is that, a drum? Oh, is that a pumping though? Oh my god, guys, I think that's a pump. Or oh, a black drum? It's a black drum. I thought that was a nice pumping though. I was getting ready to say, holy crap. Oh yeah, nice black drum. Nice black drum. He's definitely, he's definitely 14. Ah, shoot that hurt. I'm gonna grab a fish with a hook in the mouth. Rule of thumb, guys. Rule of thumb, never do that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's get this fish off. Now he'll go, he's a nice one. He'll definitely go 14 all day long. Stuck that fish in my hook, got him. So he is, let's see how big he is. Here, he's right at, he's right at about 18 inches. Good stuff. Let's put him in the cooler. Put him in the cooler. All right, he got me good, man. I uh, I was trying to lip him. Didn't realize I had the hook in my hand, and I paid dearly. <laughs> it's all good, baby. It's a part of the game. Ah, part of the game, y'all. 
Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's probably what happened. He hit it and then let it go. Let me check it. I'm going to check it anyway, guys. Let's see. Because uh, I'm pretty sure, even if he did, he's not up there. He's not up there. I'm pretty sure he stole my bait. Oh, no. He's up there, guys. Oh, my goodness. If he, he's a small one. Yeah, he's a small one. Yeah, he's a small one, I'm sure. I think he's a small one. Uh, so I think he's a small I, I don't. Y'all, I take that back. That's a good size mullet. <laughs> Look at the size of that mullet. I thought he was up there. I couldn't tell for sure, though. It's crazy, man. All that power. You don't know. Look at the size of that mullet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Feed is in there. Oh my goodness, he swallowed my hook. I may have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, that towel another hook. He's going home anyway, so it doesn't matter. We'll cut that hook, put another one up there, we'll pick up right back where we left off. Oh yeah, he's up there, he's up there, he's up there, he's up there. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh. It's like a, I don't know what that is. Oh, don't tell me another skate, bro. Please don't tell me another skate. I feel like I felt the head shake once, but it's another dad during skate. Man, come on. Uh, I hate these. Well, no, it's not. No, it's not. I feel the hair shake. Well, it may be two. I see them coming. If yeah, that's not a stingray, that's a nice mullet, bro. I don't know what it is, though. It's both. I told you. A mullet and a dad during a stingray. Yeah. Mullet and the spinning right and I'm tired in my own line. But it should be good again. Okay. Got that. I think we got a bite on this one, guys. Oh yeah, something's up there. Let's see what we got. Don't tell me he let it go. Uh something. I don't know if a fish is up here or not, guys. No, I don't think it's one. It's coming in too easy. Coming in too easy. Well, I don't think it's a fish up here. No. Well, I don't know, gang. It's hard to tell. Uh, I think we got some up here. Yeah, definitely got some up here. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A decent size sea mullet. Once again, see we had it where I couldn't tell. Like a lot of weight, but decent size sea mullet, nonetheless. All oh, right. Let's put them in the cooler. It's more of a 10 inch, maybe. more of a 10 inch fish so all right let's uh get some more bait out <sighs> Go on, to make a call. well i mean honestly i feel like i don't know uh, i don't know i don't know i got a lot of stuff i need to do man. Guys, I just brought some monsters in. <laughs> this bad boy here, I'm at to turn the camera this long way. It's about probably 16 inches. Let's go see. Let's see if I can get him with my phone and be able to record. He's a, he's a slab, man. He's a 
He's really a hoss, dude. I'm telling you. He is right at. Oh, wait, let me make sure I get. Stop moving, guy. Stop. Would you stop it? Okay. Got him right at the. Here he is. Right at 16 inches. <laughs> that is a slab there, guys. Monster, monster. Let's put him in the cooler. You guys know I got to love you. I got to love my fans, man. I'm telling you, for me to be holding my cell phone trying to get this, and here's the other one. He, he's only about maybe 10 inches. Of, uh, give him 11 inches. So let's get him in the cooler, guys. Great morning. Great day. It's the next morning. Got home yesterday. Got off the surf. What a productive day we had, man. Shrimp was, the, but shrimp was the bait to talk about. Shrimp was the thing that worked the most. So in the midst of it all, uh, fish bite weren't really producing the way I expected them to. But nonetheless, I'm glad I had fresh shrimp. That's why it's always good to bring a variety of bait, uh, lure, keep lures to, you, you know, you never know what they're going to eat. You never know what they prefer. So nonetheless, uh, shrimp, fresh shrimp, fresh shrimp, not frozen, fresh shrimp was the go-to. So now let's check the spread out. All right, here we go. Got some nice size mullet here. Like guys, these mullet are huge. The GoPro doesn't really do it justice. But we had a good spray. Had a good spray. Alright. Now, I think let's get this, let's get the measurement tape. Y'all know me. We got to show it. <laughs> Alright, so we got this mullet here uh, coming in at about that's right at the tail. Coming in at about Ah, moving it, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. Coming in at about 14 inches. This one here. The tail. Coming in at about 15 inches. Got some deep. I think these two here, these two here were the biggest that I've caught. And then we got this black drum here. I think he was coming at around maybe 16 or 17, possibly. Let's see. Tail. He's coming in at uh Probably about right at maybe 18 and a half, close to 19 inches. Everything else was, you know, pretty much smaller than that, man. But ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 fish. And I threw back some that was smaller, mullet size. And I think these here, the smallest ones being your average size mullet. So, you know, these you're looking at about 11, seems like about 11 inches. So all in all, it was a, it was a great day. I, I can't complain, man. Um, this time of the year, guys, it's the fall season. Water temps are dropping. Fish are beginning to head back south where the water, the, the cooler water is. Uh, I'm sorry, the warmer water is. So they're heading back south, heading down towards Florida because that's just the migration. That's how they do. So they're heading back down south. So right now they're in transition on the surf lines. So when you're surf fishing, remember, you don't have to cast a mile out. You don't have to cast all that way trying to get out as far as you can. A lot of the times your fish are going to be holding right at the break like it like right at in between the first break the wave break and in between the second one where it forms a little trough so you don't have to throw out all the way just throw out a little bit and the way i showed you guys how to tie your setup uh top your rigs and everything that setup works as you can see uh all in all it was a productive day man i can't complain i'm getting ready to clean these fish um get these bad boys set up ready to get fried yeah, i was gonna do a catch and cook but i don't know when i'm gonna cook these things honestly so but i just want to get you guys another video out man but uh nonetheless i thank you guys for tuning in um i've got a lot of comments going down with my t-shirts and the wear with the merch that we are that we sent out and um guys like i said i'm working on designing my own website uh i can do you know there's a lot of ways to sell merch on youtube but the problem is I'm limited to my shirt designs and the way I design them now is the way I, I like it a lot and I think you guys like it too but I don't want to give you guys just some skimpy just t-shirt you know it's, it's from the heart so if you guys were I want you guys to look good and you know I want you guys to you know style it cranky yeah, status you know what I mean so <laughs> that's what I want you guys to be able to do so I'm designing my own I've got some things set up to design my own uh, web page website and everything that way it'll be just a click and it'll be just that simple like I said, if you want t-shirts, the ones that I've, I've got a few left, uh, what I'm doing is I'm personally sending these shirts out from me to you guys. So, um, you know, like I said, I don't ask for your address and your size. And what I'll do is I'll ship them out to you. This is personally from me. I'm in charge of sending all these, <laughs> how can I say it? These are the first ever <laughs> t-shirts. So I'm sending these out myself. So uh, 
everything's in the process, so you guys just just bear with us, man. We're, you know, we're, we're progressing. We're progressing as we go. But nonetheless, I thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for, for, for just rocking with us, man. You know, rocking with us. Y'all could be anywhere, but you choose to rock with the Fish Kings, man. As I always say in that video, it, it's, it, it, you know, we appreciate it a lot. But nonetheless, man, look, it's a new, next week is going to be a new week, you know, starting a new week. Nonetheless, it's always something to be thankful for. You're blessed where you are. We, we should be thankful. No matter where we are in life, we, are, we, should, we should always be thankful and we should always live. We have to be good stewards over each other. We have to cover each other. We got to take care of each other. That's what the brother and sisterhood is about. We covering each other, loving each other, because the truth of the matter is we have to understand what love is. The Bible says that God is love, okay? There's no other definition. The Bible said that God is love. So if God is love, we have to look at the example that God sent for us. God sent his only begotten son in love. And true love really is, a, is not about necessarily what you do for somebody, but what you're willing to give up. You follow what I'm saying? Jesus gave up, gave up his position in heaven to, to, to promote us here in the earth that we will be saved, that we will have grace, and that we will come into all that he's called us to be. That's true love. That a friend will lay down his life, everything that he is, to be a blessing to you. So find somebody to bless, guys. In my heart to yours, it's a blessing. Happy Thanksgiving. If I don't see talk to you guys anymore, be blessed. And as always, ha, ha, ha. Walk around here. Walk around here. Get this tree. Look at that tree limb. Uh, hmm. Tight lines. Peace out. Hmm. Beautiful trees. I just love these trees. God bless. <laughs>